someday. In the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, March the 2nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in, and wow, what a hodgepodge of weather we have facing us this week ahead. Before I forget it, don't forget Storm Alert Extreme will be coming to the Pelham Civic Complex at 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday, March the 5th. That's this coming uh, Wednesday, and hope to see everybody there. We're going to be doing some basic storm spotter training, preparing for the upcoming severe weather season. No look of severe weather on the horizon this morning as we look at the Trustville sky cam with the sun rising there. And uh, we do see some clouds off to our west and northwest as we look at the Hamilton sky cam up there at Strata Station on the north side of the city of Hamilton. A real mess just off to our north and northwest uh, today. And you can see that mess by looking at the winter weather advisories and the watch warning map here. Everything that's in purple and in those pink colors is winter weather advisories, watches, or warnings, as well as advisories in the purple. So it's a, just a real hodgepodge of kind of a, a combination of freezing rain, sleet, and, and some snow. We're watching the, the uh, trough come out of the southwestern United States, coming out of the Four Corners area. That's going to be zipping across the southern tier of the United States pretty quickly, and that will be bringing that winter mix to the area of the Tennessee River Valley up into the Ohio River Valley. Temperatures very cold up in north central Alabama. Pardon me, north central U.S., not north central Alabama. Uh, we're looking at temperatures in the minus 20 range up there in parts of northern uh, north North Dakota. So just a really cold morning for those folks. In, in central and northern Alabama, though, it's a rather mild morning with most temperatures generally in the four, uh, 50s. We do see a few 40 re readings uh, up there in the northeast. You can see on radar that much of the precipitation is uh, just about a state away, much of the precipitation across parts of western Kentucky and southeastern Missouri. QPF-wise, we are uh, looking at a rather uh, wet period ahead uh, with the uh, Gulf low that's likely to produce some rain across the area on Thursday with as much as uh, two and a half to three and a half inches along the Gulf Coast. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a uh, kind of a circular area over parts of East Texas and much of Louisiana and a little bit of southwest Mississippi for uh, severe thunderstorms today and the possibility of isolated tornadoes uh, by uh, day two, we see that uh, it's primarily no organized severe thunderstorms forecast as the colder air moves into the area. All right, let's get to the 06 GFS model run. And there's our, our forecast map for today at midday. You can see that mess of weather all the way from Texas, all the way across the Ohio River Valley up into New England. The uh, upper air pattern for Monday, we see the trough that was over the Four Corners area today is moved very briskly and is passing um, the southern Appalachians by midday on Monday, and that will be creating a bit of a, a, a potential problem for the areas across northwest Alabama and up into Tennessee. You can see the 540 thickness line uh, diving down into the area just uh, near the Alabama Tennessee line. But let's look a little bit lower in the atmosphere and we see that the 850 zero degree isotherm actually is coming down into the Tennessee River Valley and that's one of the reasons why the National Weather Service in Huntsville has issued a winter weather advisory for uh, the, uh, let's see, five counties uh, generally to the west of Huntsville including Florence, Muscle Shoals area, looks like Athens and uh, down to Russellville as well. The trough moves off quickly, but another one moves through Tuesday. This one looks like it'll probably come through dry. The GFS suggesting that maybe there would be enough moisture to get some sprinkles, but I think for the most part, uh, just a few clouds with that as that trough is fairly weak. But there's no lack of troughs, and here comes another one on Wednesday, and this one's one we're going to have to keep our eyes on because it's going to dig in to the southeastern U.S. and into the Gulf Coast area. So uh, moisture beginning to show up in the Gulf, and we're also showing 
Wednesday at noon, we're showing the possibility of a surface load developing. That trough is forecast by the GFS to dig in over southern Louisiana in the vicinity of uh, Lake Charles. And, of course, that should intensify a surface low in the Gulf. Now, here's part of the problem. This is definitely a weather pattern that can lead to a winter weather situation across the southeastern U.S. However, looking at the surface map, you see that the 540 thickness line, the colder air, is off to the north and uh, in, in and just north of the Ohio River Valley. Well, here's part of the problem. We, we look at this model sounding, and of course with this sounding, there's no reason to be forecasting any kind of winter weather threat at all for Alabama, central Alabama, on Thursday. However, the pattern certainly suggests the potential for colder air to come in. We've got a cold core low aloft, and uh, in addition to that, we've got the possibility with that surface low along the Gulf Coast bringing that colder air in in a shallow fashion, and computer models don't usually do a great job with these shallow cold uh, air situations. Now, on the positive side, we have some reinforcing uh, kind of confidence here, and that is the the uh, European is also suggesting that the close low will be, the surface low will be in the vicinity of between Mobile and Apalachicola. Very good position well, relative to the GFS. And both of these are now relatively the same strength. They're both about uh, 1,008 um, surface lows. So the good news here is that the European is also f suggesting that the cold air will remain up in the Ohio River Valley. But again, all the models don't always do a good job with shallow cold air situations. So while the forecast does not express any kind of uh, winter weather uh, event for Thursday, this is one that we're definitely going to have to keep our eye on and watch so that we don't see any major surprises. That uh, uh, strong trough along the Gulf Coast moves off the Atlantic coast on Friday, and that will take the weather with it. And uh, once again, because of the upper flow being primarily uh, out of the Pacific, it should not be a terribly cold situation, but just cooler. And yet Saturday uh, on the, the 8th of March, we see another trough coming through the flow, and that brings what probably will be a bit of a dry front, uh, some cooler air, of course, but uh, looks like the moisture will be very limited with that. Get out to Sunday, a week from today, and we see that that system moves on by fairly quickly uh, as it does dig into uh, Texas. And once again, it should be very uh, moisture starved, so there shouldn't be a great deal of precipitation expected with that system. Let's go out into voodoo country, and uh, the continuous parade of these troughs just keeps on coming here, uh, kind of like the Ever Ready Bunny there. On the 13th of March, a Thursday, we're looking at another trough, which would be another frontal system moving through the eastern part of the country and through the Ohio River Valley. And then we see another fairly deep system around the 16th, which um, actually for the 16th spells a pretty significant snowstorm for the uh, mid-Atlantic states and up into New England. But uh, for down here, it's a question as to whether or not there'll be enough cold air once again or if we're, we're going to be right on the western side of that cold air. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme uh, video. I had a great time last night emceeing the Helena Bell's uh, ball. Uh, the theme was Gadsby Take Selena, and it was a great time, great music, a uh, lot of a lot of entertainment and uh, just a lot of camaraderie as we all raised money for scholarships for the Helena Bells. Uh, James Spann should be back with the next edition of the Weather Extreme video first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, I hope your Sunday is a good one. Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.